there's one. I just got here, and uh, as I was setting up, getting ready here, I seen one moving around up in the top of the tree there. It's a pine tree, and it's sitting there really, really still with its bushy tail up. I can see it all balled up. I was shooting through a lot of twigs and, and pine needles, but I can clearly see the squirrel. But taking the shot, I wasn't exactly sure where I'm gonna hit because it was balled up. Sure enough, I took the shot and it fell down. It's very late afternoon. I probably got at most three hour of hunting time. So let's go get the squirrel. I would have never thought it was a red squirrel. It was balled up so tight. And I was looking at it through my scope. I couldn't even tell that it was a red squirrel. It was just sitting so tight, all balled up, only 20 yards up in the tree. I shot it. I have to eat it. Let me bag this up. I'll be right back. All right. I bagged up that little red squirrel. I hear a squirrel barking ahead. It shouldn't be too far. Maybe, maybe 50 yards or so. I'm gonna slowly work my way up there, find a spot to sit down. I'll see you back in a bit. Okay, I can see the squirrel. It moved up there and it's sitting between a branch and the middle. was completely my fault. I couldn't get my breath, my breathing correctly. That was a really big gray squirrel. What a squirrel barking back after I made that distress call. The squirrel wasn't wasn't coming out when I made that distress call, but as soon as I stopped, the squirrel peeked its head out and I took the shot, but I was a little bit too shaky. I should have took my time. I'm gonna go up there a little bit more. I know where the squirrel is. I know which tree it's in. It ran to the top of the canopy. I see it, I see it.
when I missed the first and the second time, the squirrel, I thought it went up, but it actually went to the left behind a little, there's, a, there's another tree in between me and the squirrel. So it hid right, right in front of that tree in front of me. And as I move over to the left a little bit, I can see it kind of moving up there a little bit. And as soon as I put my scope on it, crystal clear. It was, it was right there. The opening was right there for me to, to take it. Yes. All right. I'm going to hang out right here for maybe another five minutes before I go grab that squirrel. We'll see you back in a bit. Stay tuned, everyone. It looked like a fox squirrel through my scope. Yes, it is a fox squirrel. My first fox squirrel in, in maybe more than five years. It's a fox squirrel. Yes. I've been seeing one of these guys for ages. Wow. And you know what? I have not even picked up the first one that I shot. As I was going to get the first one, this guy was moving off to my left. All right. You don't know how happy I am. I bet you do. I go home happy with just this one squirrel. I tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. That very first one I shot over there made me think this was a red squirrel and that maybe I shouldn't have shoot this one. But as I kept on looking through my scope, wait a minute, it looks pretty big. Wow, look at that. I am stoked. What a beautiful fox squirrel it is. Yeah. I still gotta go pick up my first one. Let's go get it. I see it. See the white stomach on that gray squirrel. Two beauties. Look at them. All right. And I just got into the woods. That's what makes it so great about this hunt right here. Okay, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is JB. This is video number eight. Video number seven. I uh, I went out over the weekend, and um, that's I have not put that up yet. I got home and I got busy and i just never got a chance to go edit so shooting this video right now this hunt right now i still gotta go back home edit video number seven and then edit this video number eight you know what feelings coming through me right now nostalgia this is the headquarter right here this is ground zero it's where it all started last year my first video for this channel 
was on this property right here. What a rush it is just to have that feeling right now. When I came here, I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't have that rush feeling. But shooting these two squirrels now, right away, and it's late afternoon, I got about two more hours of hunt maybe before it gets too dark. That rush of nostalgia is getting to me right now. Last year, after I shot, my first video here I never came back until today this year 2023 and everyone stay tuned till the end of the video because I got more great news on the giveaway it's October 25th and this video number eight right here is the video you all been waiting for because this video is the video that I am gonna do the giveaway and if anybody has not seen video number six it will tell you what the giveaway is. Go back to video number six and watch it. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, come back to this video number eight. Come down to the comment section, write down GA, capital G, capital A. That's all I want you to write down. So I can go down, scroll down and find you easier. I'm gonna assign every GA a number. I'm gonna put that number in a bucket and just draw that way. One winner, the number I draw is gonna win the giveaway. I'm really excited for this too. Let me put these two squirrels away. We'll see you back in a bit. Stay tuned everyone. Okay, I just bagged up those two squirrels. I hear a squirrel calling. So let's go towards that way. That squirrel is, is calling nonstop. I'm gonna slowly work my way. Okay, that one, that one. That one squirrel that was barking earlier, I sat there for a good 25 minutes and it never came back out. But I'm walking away and I do see a squirrel just ran down from the top of the canopy to about midway. So I'm gonna head towards that way. It's still a little further ways. So I'll see you back in a bit. is six clicks of elevation of male radiant. It 
it's saying 80, 81 yards now. I think there's just so much. There are some branches in, in the way, and it was ranging those branches. Nine out of 10 times the range is saying that it's 66 yards. But some hits will say 81 yards. I'm gonna say it's 81 yards. So 81 yards would have been 17 clicks. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a big miss right there. All right, I no longer see that squirrel, but I'm gonna walk up towards that tree. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay back about, say 40 yards and hope that that squirrel pops back out, get a shot, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, I came up a little closer to that tree and I just ranged it. I got a clear view of that tree now and it ranged 62 yards. So when I was back there, it was 81 yards. So that's why I missed the squirrel. I'm gonna go up closer, we'll see you back in a bit. sat here for a good 30 minutes and uh, nothing's coming out. I know I don't have much daylight out to be waiting for too long. Okay, I'm gonna move location. I'll see you back in a bit. The squirrel fell down. I heard it. I heard it come down. So let's go look for it. That's, that's squirrel number three. I'm losing a lot of daylight here. So I'm gonna hurry up over there. Let's go. off this really big tree right here way up top 40 yards all right let's see what, let's see where it is let's see where it's at here oh I see it's a bushy tail That's a good feeling. I'm so glad to be back to, to, to my headquarter. All right, I'm gonna bag this up. We'll see you back in a bit. There's one looking at me right now. It's so in the open. I just finished bagging up that third one. set up here with my gun.
it's off this tree right here. I'm gonna go around it to see if I see anything. Oh, I see it, it's at the bottom of the tree. I shot it, I got it, I got it. This is a heavy guy. That's a heavy female. Wow, this, this is a big, big female. Wow. Let's see where I got it. So, right through the rib cage. So, that took a little bit for it to expire. Wow. Yes. I never really came back here because I thought this place was really hard to hunt. I don't know. Well, everywhere is hard to hunt. There's just so many other places that, that I went to and I just never came back to this place until, until now. Wow. It was just sitting right there for me. I, I, I was just moving a ton and this squirrel just, just kept its position for me to shoot. I was just moving my rifle back and forth. There was a branch that was in the squirrel's way and I didn't want to take the shot because there was just too good of a chance for me to hit that little tiny branch. Wow, wow. One more, one more. Okay, I'm gonna put this one away. I'm losing daylight really, really fast. One more. We'll see you back in a bit. Okay, I just bagged up that fourth one. I'm gonna continue walking down that way and sit down because that might be my last chance to get the fifth one. Yards. And I'm not seeing anything. Let's see if we can get a, a squirrel to chatter and locate it. nothing with the squirrel call. I'm gonna keep on walking here. Earlier when I came in, I don't know, there were a lot of squirrel chattering towards this way. So I'm gonna keep on going. We'll see you back in a bit. I walked five yards after I sat back there using my squirrel call. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm not seeing anything. And I'm gonna keep on walking up because earlier there was a lot of squirrel chattering out that way when I came in. And sure enough, I walked five yards and I bumped into a squirrel right there. I actually called it in. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I walked up five yards and I spooked it and went around that tree. That tree's 15 yards away. And it went up 
And it gave me enough time to turn the camera on, set this on, set my, my rifle up. I never popped this open. I never popped this open. That's why it was a little blurry looking through my scope. I was like, what's going on here? Why is it blurry? Everything happened so fast. Still got my, my uh, scope cam going. Oh, that scope cam capture is not gonna be that great because I, got, I had my, my, uh, sc my scope cover still on. Did a headshot. Drop right there. Yeah. Oh, really wanted that cover off. That was a really, really good scope cam shot. Too bad I had that scope cover on. Let's go look. Right there. What a giant, what a giant of a squirrel this is. Off, off that tree right there. It, it fell down and it made its way about five yards towards this way. What a giant, what a giant. Look at this headshot. Look at that right there. This is a big male, really big male. Wow, yes. It came in, or it came out with a squirrel call right there. It just never came out to the open where I can see it, but I called it out for sure. Wow, this fella is heavy. Wow, all right. We'll see you back in a bit here. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. What an epic hunt. Five squirrels, I think I've been here max two hours. And in the beginning, I said that I didn't have much daylight and I had to look for my squirrels really, really fast. And right away, I shot two squirrels. You know, the other three, I mean, they came right by too, I mean, this place right here, I have not been back since last year on my first video. And October 18th, was it October 19th, was my one year anniversary. Now I'm back at this place. This is, this. I call this the headquarter. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be back again this year, but for sure next year, I'm gonna to have to come back here because this place produce. I mean, last year when I came here, I shot three big squirrels and I missed one, and there was a lot more squirrels, but I called it good and I went home. You know, I mean, being that it's my, it was my first video, messing with my camera, messing with this rifle, there was a lot to do but now that I'm familiar with both of these and coming in here and limiting out right away two hours I am so thankful this concludes my hunt everyone go to the comment section if you want to participate in the giveaway just write down G A capital G capital A that's it don't write anything else because when I scroll down I might miss you because I'm going to assign you a number if you want to write something down go ahead and write it in a different comment make two comments okay but you know what I'm super super excited I get to go home I get to go clean these squirrels and I'm happy to do it because what an exciting end to this event and I couldn't do it without you all the viewers and all my subscribers everyone don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because there's gonna be a lot more hunting videos coming your way I'm gonna continue to give you great content gonna continue to improve 
I have a camera guy too. I'm still waiting for him. It's going to be epic if we can get together and get a hunt going. If he was here tonight, it would have been one of my best video. That way I don't have to mess with the camera. He can be the camera guy and, and I can focus on just shooting. I'm going to try to get him to come out within the next couple of days here, a week or two. You guys stay tuned for that. I will see you guys next time. See you in the comments section. Take care everyone. Bye now.